Today on the Mandroid Show. Give me a break, give me a break, break me off a piece of that HTC. That's not right. <laughs> oh yeah, this is actually real. This is actually happening. This guy! <laughs> this guy over here. It's okay, iPhone users, you can come to the lighters inside of the sports. 50 Google Now commands? Nah, alright. Okay, Google, edit this show for me. You're such a bitch. Ah. What's happening, Android friends? Welcome to Tuesday's episode of The Mandroid Show. I am Dave, of course, your Mandroid host. Follow me down there and all those social media thingies that, you know, I, yeah. I appreciate you guys all clicking in, so let's talk some Android. Yes, I guess the biggest news today was the fact that Android 4.4 KitKat is rolling out to the Google Edition HTC One. Finally, remember they said 15 days? How many days is it? I don't have a watch. It's okay, it's okay. They wanted, you know, to make sure it was pretty bug free. They wanted to make sure everything's all working. But what's good about it is, if you HTC, regular HTC One users, if you're already rooted and unlocked and just ready to rock, guess what? They're gonna, there's some developers out there that are gonna start porting that Google Edition ROM onto the regular HTC One and it's gonna be silky, silky smooth. I actually think there already is one out there. I just need to flash it. I guess the Google Edition Galaxy S4 is also supposed to receive the update soon. Yeah, it'll it'll get there. It'll get there, guys. But yeah, that's the main thing is the fact that yeah, developers are gonna take that and port it on to the regular HTC ones. Uh, as soon as I flash the one that I already got ported, I will do a video. So stay tuned. And yes, the remember when we heard about the 18 karat gold HTC one? It was like. Um, he isn't really doing that, right? I don't think a company that's kind of like losing money should really invest in a gold phone. But yes, I don't know who exactly will get this phone. It's really ridiculous. I mean, gold phones in general are ridiculous because it's like, okay, you got, you got, white, you got silver, white, black, and douchebag. I don't know, we'll probably see Kim Kardashian or Kanye West uh, rocking this phone or something like that while they're on their motorcycle naked. That, God, my lord. That song was terrible. <laughs> Eric Schmidt of Google, who was actually an ex-Apple employee, posted a nice little guide that was called Converting from iPhone to Android. So he gave you a step-by-step -step treatment to get you started on Android because I don't know how many times I've had, I've argued, or dis not really argued, but discussed with an iPhone user. I'm like, you know what, you should try Android. It's not that bad. There's a little more to it. You can do this, you can do that. <laughs> but I always hear the same things where they think like Android is just, oh my God, what is going on? What's a widget? I like simple, you know, just simple stuff. Like, like all my apps are right there and just, yeah. Simplicity, I guess, that's what iPhone users like. They like having a phone that looks exactly like everybody else's phone, the setup, huh, pretty much. But you know, it, it, <laughs> Android is really, I think, easier than iPhone. Just, I mean, there's been comparison videos about this too. It's just, you know, you can just access stuff a lot quicker on Android. But I mean, to each his own, I know that. I'm not one of those that just, you know, absolutely hates the iPhone. I just think it's boring and, uh, yeah. I love how on the end he says, make sure you download Chrome because it's free and safer and <laughs> don't download Safari. Man, is he just like going, hey Apple. <laughs> mm. And to wrap up the show, we actually uh, posted probably a couple weeks ago, uh, 50 new commands you could say to your Google Now. So obviously since we have the KitKat integration, we can actually just voice command, okay Google, and it opens up and you're on the home screen. Well, there was a list that came out of like 50 commands, but Phone Buff actually did a video, an awesome video, where he goes over all the commands. So you see the commands, you see how Google Now reacts to it. It's just a lot. It's better to get a perspective, a visual perspective, as opposed to reading, I think. I've always been a visual learner myself. If you want to check it out, I'll have it down below in the balls area as well. And that's all the Android news I wanted to talk about today. Make sure you hit that like, thumbs up button if you like today's show. Subscribe to the Android Spin channel if you have not already. And please subscribe to my other channel, The Film Junkie, where I do movie news, film reviews, and those autocorrect fails and stuff. I keep that going. And also check out my other websites besides AndroidSpin.com. Uh, you got autocorrect failness, which is, you know, funny. Obviously, autocorrect fails. They make people laugh, right? <laughs> it's, it's, 
Blame Steve Jobs, right? And then of course you have Film Junkie for all your movie news, so go ahead. If you wanna register, subscribe to those um, websites, that'd be awesome of you too, and uh, tell your friends. All right guys, I'm David, your Mandroid host, and this has been the Mandroid Show.